Staying in Latin America, Costa Rica's economy could be getting an additional boost from Beijing. China is already the country's second largest trading partner, and that relationship may grow further if Costa Rica's oil industry gets a little help from Chinese expertise. CCTV's Nitsa Soledad Perez has more. Costa Rica is the only Central American country that has diplomatic relations with China. Recently, the Chinese government contributed $24 million to Costa Rica's economic development, and there are plans for more cooperation. What was agreed in Beijing is the, the initiation of a feasibility study uh, that is going to be financed by China, and um, Costa Rica will explore the different areas in which uh, there is potential for the development of such um, a special economic zone. So far, the talks have included the possibility of building solar panels and cars. But this partnership has had some problems. The oil refinery joint venture project of $1.5 billion was halted by the Controller General's office due to conflict of interests. The Chinese government insisted and the previous Costa Rican government agreed to having a subsidiary of the Chinese oil company to conduct the viability studies. But that does not only violate the contract of the joint venture, it creates a conflict of interest. The upgrade of the state-owned refinery would boost its processing capacity from 18 to 60,000 barrels a day of crude oil. During the first China Select meeting that took place last January in Beijing, President Solis of Costa Rica spoke with President Xi Jinping, and they both agreed to restart the oil refinery negotiations from scratch. We are moving forward with a new deal. We will have a new study that will assess the feasibility of the project and instruct us if we should continue with the oil refinery project in Moin. From the onset, many in the civil society were skeptical about the oil refinery renovation. We have supported the Chinese involvement if and only if it's carried out in a transparent way and provides economic benefits to the Costa Rican people. The completion of the refinery renovation would allow Costa Rica to process its own crude and reduce its costs. Meanwhile, consumers will keep paying 40 percent extra in taxes to the state oil company and its service stations. Mitza Soledad Perez, CCTV, San Jose, Costa Rica. Venezuela is trying to ease the pressure on its consumers by cracking down on store owners. National Guardsmen and state price adjusters are fanning out across the country to make sure shoppers can buy enough things like sugar. Authorities are also suing a national pharmacy chain for not having enough checkout counters. Venezuela has accused private businesses of deliberately causing a shortage of basic products that's led to very long lines. Officials also claim these businesses are trying to incite anger against the government.